WTFNN. Headline News Update. Welcome, folks. We had the Dow finish down 491, NASDAQ off 123, S&P's off 50. That's a drop of 1.8% in the Dow Industrials, 1.6% in the S&P 500, as well as the NASDAQ. Gold, gold contract up $16, trading at 1505 an ounce. Silver also caught a bid up 30 cents, $17, 61 cents an ounce. Now, both gold and silver, folks, they took a beating uh, at the beginning of the week. Bottom line came back with a vengeance, and if gold Closes are uh, over 1484 for the week, and we're at 1505. That is going to be a rejection of lower price also on the weekly. We have a rejection of lower price both in silver and gold on the daily. Uh, bottom line looks like we're going to have one on the weekly. Light sweet crude, light sweet crude, plenty of oil out there. We're down a buck. $52.57. That's going after the lows of 50. And notes and bonds, they're the ever ready bunny out here, folks. Higher price, lower yield. You have the, you have the 10 as well as the 30 as well as the TLT. Take out their swing points yesterday of an ABC structure on the way up. They had volume behind the move. They continued that move higher today. You had the 10 year up 12 ticks, 131.01. The 30 year up 14 ticks, that baby's trading out at 163.04. And bottom line, right now on the 10 year, we are yielding 1.60. We got to 1.57 today. It looks like we're gonna go test the 1.41, which was the low in September. King dollar, King dollar down 118 ticks, trading 99. King dollar came off its highs yesterday, got in the lower zone, Went above it again today and gave it up again. The real bottom line, King Doll looks like it has three drives to the top and three drives to the top, folks. The, after the last one, guess what? It's saying that it wants to go south. We'll see whether they get any traction on the way south. But the bottom line right now, it's underneath the highs. The euro is at 109. The yen is out here trading at 107.19. And the pound is at 123. Doesn't matter what indice you bring up, folks. The bottom line is that you have volume behind the move on the way down. If we go take a look at the NDX 100 first, the Qs, you're going to see that the Qs blew away their B point today. S&Ps did it yesterday. We needed 40 million shares in the Qs. You get 46 million. He had needed a price point of 185.75, and it just blew that away. We're at 184.05. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night, and we look forward to speaking to you right back here tomorrow morning, 9 o'clock.